Hey Brick Maniacs, it's time for another episode of Brickmania TV. Today on Brickmania TV, Cody O'Sell has a new kit. That's me. The Corsair from the Korean War. Yes. What's the full name of this thing? This is the F4U-4 Corsair. Nice. Korean War Vintage. Korean, cool. Korean War Vintage, yep. So it's, uh, what do you, well, what do you want to know about it? Nothing. Okay, no, cool. there's, a, there's a cool story <laughs> behind it. I'm not cool, but yeah. there's a story behind this one. Yeah. Um, so we are including the book, mm -hmm. this book, in the kit. It's called Devotion. And it's about the story of Jesse Brown, who right. was the, the first African American uh, Corsair pilot. And, and we got a mini he, to go with him. His plane got shot down in yep. Korea, and his wingman, Thomas Hudner, mm -hmm. uh, cra intentionally crashed his plane to save his wingman. And they both received the Medal of Honor for their, well, Thomas for his efforts in rescue, and then uh, Jesse Brown posthumously received his because he unfortunately died in that right he got shot he got shot right the airplane so. got shot down or something yeah, yeah. well he, he was alive and he right. tried to rescue him I'm not going to go into great detail you can read the book about it you can, they can read the book they can read the book because in this kit we are giving this book with every we're giving away this book with every single purchase of this kit mm -hmm. so that comes with it so you'll be able to read the entire story of this event yeah. so so, so you get both pilots, and right. then you get the stickers for their respective airplanes. So you can so. do either either a, either airplane that you would like to do. Yep. So there's the number 203 is Jesse Brown's number, and then 205 is Thomas Hudner's right. uh, number. Um, and I also included 217 because that may or may not have been Jesse's um, number at sure. some point in time. So cool. Whichever number you want to put on there, right? <laughs> you have the option to do so. Uh, so as far as the Corsair update itself, right. uh, it's largely the same as the original yeah, for you that that Brick Mini built. That was that about a year ago, in, or yeah, I think it was uh, August uh, okay. 2016. I think that's what, what it was. year is it? <laughs> I think that's what it was. And we've, re we've restocked it a couple times, and yeah. Um, so I got a chance to make some improvements to the yep. model. Mostly, uh, the instructions are a lot better, a yeah. lot more easier to understand. I know that was. A complaint from some right. people is really difficult to build. So I simplified the instructions and it's a little bit stronger. Uh, still has the wing folding capabilities where it's got that hidden hinge. You uh, snap you the one stud free and then slide the wing up like that. Super clever. Yeah, thanks. Super clever. <laughs> do it with both. Do it with both. I want to see it. Okay. Just pop it off. Maybe. Can I do it? Uh, the easiest way is to put my finger right there. Okay, you know, you know, you know the, the tricks. Yeah. There we go. So that would be for on the decks of aircraft carriers. Correct. Yep. This Correct. was a Navy plane. Yep. And it's all dark blue as opposed to the original, which was a three-tone. It was a white and a light blue and then the dark blue. Right. And I think this looks way cooler. All dark blue. <laughs> <laughs> it does look pretty dang slick. <laughs> dang slick. Uh, so it's got a four-bladed propeller. And those are pitched blades. Right. Um, yeah, which is a cool design. And the engine's a little bit souped up. This was souped the last. Up, nice. Yeah, it's got a. I kind of built a little bit of a scoop underneath for the. I don't know, you can't uh, really see in there. The turbocharger. It's there, we swear. Little intake for the turbo. Cool. Underneath the engine. Uh, this modification. This canopy also slides back. Of course, back. yeah. This, this was one of the first kits that had the. I don't know. This is the first time I've seen a design like that for a cockpit that allowed for an, a cool looking open or closed positioning of it. Yeah, point A to point B looks good. Um, just obviously doesn't quite slide back, right. but you can kind of pivot it and turn it back a little bit. And I updated the cockpit slightly, oh, put some gauges in there. Ooh. <laughs> so now they can actually control their airplane. Yeah, now they can actually see how fast they're going. In the that's previous nice. kit, they were not able to pilot their airplane. Correct. They had a joystick, that's about it. <laughs> it's all a little bit updated. Uh, uh, functioning landing gears as well. Yeah, functioning landing gear. Uh, landing gear is an update also, at least as far as the tail goes. 
on the previous model, you could not turn that tire. It was just a piece of flex tube. Now, it was unable to spin. Bam, on the caster rotor. wheel. Yeah, so you can turn it, but you can also slide on it because it's hard plastic. So you can drive it around in your. <laughs> Show, demonstrate that, please, Cody. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so that folds up, folds back, uh, folds up pretty nice, and then the same story with this. Nice. And as you can see, there are there's a sticker pack that comes with this. Yeah. Um, so quite the extensive sticker pack. Yes. Um, more or less, I would say they're pretty close to like a plastic model decal yeah. set. So they're a little bit trickier to put on just because they're really specific cuts, especially the yeah the navy, the navy on, on the back. back. I, I chose to make the stickers all individually um, cut out. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit more difficult. But I think it, it wraps the airplane a lot better. Yeah. Looks a lot cleaner than trying to color match um, a big old, like a giant, that would be a huge sticker on the back of it. Yeah. Um, so just take your time, <laughs> you'll get it. Yeah. Uh, and we have the VF-32, which was their squadron. Yes. What else? what else? Oh, figures. Let's go over the figures. Yeah. So that, you know, obviously awesome model as usual, highly popular when it first came out in the World War II version. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. Thanks. But also figures, right? Uh, so as you mentioned, it comes with uh, both figures um, for either airplane. And I have some custom face artwork on those, on um, both the respective pilots. And 360 printing, as usual. So it's got that uh, Korean War vintage life preserver, inflatable life preserver and survival vest kind of integrated. Mm -hmm. One of those pouches is for shark repellent. Oh. Just a big, <laughs> big package of just says shark repellent on it. <laughs> does not include that. Does not include shark repellent, but it is in one of those pockets. Very cool. Yeah. Side, so you get side note. Thomas Hudner and Jesse Brown. Nice. Yeah. Cool. And that's a um, oh, expo anti-exposure suit. So this is for if they were to fall into the ocean, mm -hmm. uh, it would hopefully keep them alive a little bit longer in those cold waters. Yeah. So that is what is represented here on these figures. Yeah, they're kind of like tied off, like you keep the hot air inside. Yeah, right? something like that. Yeah. I wasn't 100% sure. Um, it, the details were a, a little bit hard to track down, but yeah. it appears as though there's like there's a really like watertight, I guess, or airtight cuffs and on the, on the sleeves and on the boots. And it looked like there was a hose that could plug into the midsection. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's for hot air or if that's just, I don't know what that's for. For farts? <laughs> for farts. <laughs> Uh, and that is the episode. For more information, check out BrickMania.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Get it quick.